Patty, it's your friend Tommy Norman. Bittersweet that you're leaving, but I'm happy for you. I'm happy for your family. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you making me laugh. I'm gonna miss all your inspiration at the Monday morning bus stop and just your spirit, your personality. I'm proud to call you my friend. I love you. We're gonna miss you. Please come back and check on us. God bless you. Oh, here comes some kids right now. We got Officer PB here this morning. But Officer PB, why are you here this morning? Tell us what's going on. Well, I understand that Officer Norman is off partying somewhere, so these children need a little bit of <laughs> direction this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Patty, I'm just going to be very honest with you right now. I am not happy about this. I'm going to make the best of it that I can. But who in the heck am I supposed to gig with? Who is going to dress up in crazy clothes, crazy glasses, hats, and wigs and go out in public with me? Who's going to make me chocolate chip cookies? Who's going to drop everything when I call them and say I need them to go somewhere with me? Have a bed ready for me. Tell Glenn to move on over. I'll be there to visit shortly. Love ya. Hey, Patty. In our later years, we've been many miles apart. In Kansas City, it was seven hours. And it was in Kentucky, it was about eight hours. And it was in Georgia, it was 10 and a half hours. And that never stopped us from seeing each other. So girlfriend, two and a half hours, that ain't nothing. Get my bedroom ready. I'm going to be seeing you. I love you, sweet girl. Bye. Hi, Glenn and Patty. My goodness, can you believe this? You're moving to another city. Well, you've lived all over the United States. You've made hundreds of friends everywhere you go. And now you're about to move to another Another part of uh, Arkansas that's beautiful, and I know that you will enjoy being around your kids and uh, that beautiful part of the country. Just uh, know that you've got an extra bedroom and I'm gonna come visit you. You can be assured of that. So have a great time. Enjoy this new adventure. We love you. We're going to miss you here, but I will certainly be in touch. Patty, I didn't know you very well in high school, but in all our years on reunion committees, I've gotten to know you well and treasure you as a friend. North Little Rock is going to miss you, but come back and visit, and come back and visit your old house, because since my son bought it, you'll always be welcome. We'll miss you, but enjoy your time close to your family. Good luck. Hey Patty and Glenn, this is Jim and Jeannie in our temporary hotel room wishing you a happy move to your new home. Yeah, happy, happy move. We're so excited for you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey Patty, thank you so much for helping me with this farm and working out here like crazy and, you know, sacrificing the fact that you don't like, you know, sweating and dirt and digging dirt and all that stuff and everything not but i sure am sorry you're moving because just your nearness means so much to me and i love you so much and i wish you the best god bless you and god bless amy and all the little ones and you'll be up there with all your family and that's what it's all about i love you sweetheart I'm signing off, but not forever. Love you. Bye. Okay, I just want to tell you that I love you so much, and you're going to be so missed. I wish the very best for you and your family, and you are a joy wherever you go. You light up the world. Just take care and be safe, and remember to put your faith over your fear, and that God is good. He's good all the time. I love you. I wish you the best. Bye. Hey, Patty and Glenn, I just want to tell you I'm so excited about your new adventure in your life. You're going to have a wonderful time, and I can't wait to come see you. you in fact, we might see each other even more once you're up there. <laughs> can't wait. Love you. Well, I'll tell you what. Selling those damn tomatoes. Sure. Oh, just go up and sell them. Knock on the door. People will love to buy tomatoes from you. You're just a little turd. Sell the tomatoes, and when you get back, we'll share the money with you. 
I just don't recall the pockets being full. Just a memory for you. Yep, the old red wagon saw many a trip on Kim Robinson. Or maybe you'll remember this look. Yes, wild man. Now I'm just wondering who this little wild man might have been. Well, by God, it was me. But I will tell you, selling tomatoes and being a wild man, I would not rather not do it with anyone else other than you. I love you and I wish you the best in the great white north. Love you. Bye bye now. Glenn and Patty, it's the end of an era and we are very sad. We hope you guys have a great time with your kids and your grandkids. What a blessing it will be to be together in the Fayetteville Rogers area. God bless you. We love you. We love you. Go okay, sorry. Patty and Glenn. Uh, Joanna said this had to be short, and there is nothing short I can say except that I love you. Love you both. Loved all the years we've had together. We're gonna miss you. And all I can say is, uh, it's been a privilege of being your neighbors for many, many years. Uh, I'm gonna miss the heck out of you guys. I don't know if, if, if I don't know which one I'm gonna miss the most. Uh, Patty's complaining, or or uh, Glenn's. Uh, when are we going fit hunting next? But uh, I do. Uh, I do want to say this. I'm gonna miss you both very much but I am so happy that you're able to move uh, and be close to your kids. And I uh, just want to let you know I do love you. Look forward to keep in touch. Hey, and you say we're all moving next to family. We are family. <laughs> you're leaving family. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Many years have come and gone. They're not like this anymore. Maybe we will have some fun when you come to the north. And it won't be long. We'll see you soon. You'll be missed in North Little Rock. Bye-bye. Bye, we love you.